They come to the top of the stretch now, turning for home. And uh, speed away, he's got a short lead coming off the turn. It's speed away with the lead. Not for money coming on the outside, coming through the stretch. Speed away and not for money. They drive for the wire. Speed away. Speed away. Not for money is second best. Up for third, Sinatra V. Tied for fourth. It might be Mr. Mayor Hanover in 155 and three. Speed away makes an impressive first up bid to win in the free for all trot at Harrington Raceway. The six year old owned by Breakaway Racing and your Wallahan Racing Team is trained by Nick Callahan and driven by Nick's son, Corey Callahan. We got a chance to talk to them about this top high stepper. He has made like $100,000 for you, just having him in 2024. Obviously, you love the way he's been racing. Do you love him in the barn? What's his attitude like? Uh, he, he's, he's not bad in the barn. You gotta watch him, he will kick you. Uh, when we first bought him, Jonas told us, he said he does have a couple twerks. And he was let down when we got him, so we had to get him back ready. And he said sometimes he doesn't want to turn, you know, sometimes he doesn't want to do his work. And it was really kind of odd because uh, he didn't want to do his work because the first few times I trained him, he wouldn't even try. I mean, we gave a lot of money for him and he'd go out and all he would do was run. And uh, I called Jonas, I said, look man, Jonas, what's the deal? This horse will try. He said, don't worry about it. He'll try it when it comes race time. And the further we went, the better he got and the way he went. Now I know he's owned by Breakaway Racing mm -hmm. and your Wallahan Racing Team. Right. Uh, now we know your Wallahan Racing Team, it's a bunch of buddies of Corey's right. and three families that have right. come together. Yep. Uh, Breakaway Racing, that's your wife Dolly? That's Dolly. Okay, Br Breakaway Racing, where's that come from? She just wanted to come up with a stable name years ago and just come up with that. I love it. It's yeah. so catchy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. good job, Dolly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, congratulations on your success with this horse. Uh, and tonight you have eight in, so get to work, Thank babe. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Thanks. I just talked to your dad about Speedaway, and you obviously own a little piece of this horse, too. You must be so happy with him. Yeah, he's been super. Um, you know, uh, we bought him uh, in the winter from uh, Per Rodert, who I've driven a lot of horses for him in the past, actually, uh, like Dorsey set a world record on Hambo Day the one year, um, and, you know, he was just trying to move a few of his racehorses. I, I talked to him probably six months prior to this, and I said, hey, listen, if you ever have anything you want to sell, like, can you just ask me first? So he asked me about this horse, and I called my dad, and I was like, hey, we need to you know, we need to buy this horse and it's all worked out well. And so the race that he just won and we just watched, he comes first over. Is that the way you were expecting everything to pan out? Yeah, he doesn't mind that trip at all. I mean, he's he's definitely more of a chaser. He likes to pass horses. Unfortunately, tonight we have the eight hole and we might have to pass a lot of horses. I took a shot on fair day and left out of there with him and he, he got parked the whole mile and it, it kind of hurt his feelings a little bit, so. Um, you know, we were probably a month like kind of, you know, regrouping and getting him feeling good about himself. And, uh, you know, I knew last week when I moved him, we had a really big shot. I do want to mention on that card, you had seven wins, yeah. uh, a couple for your dad and even a dead heat, which is really cool. Um, obviously going no, into so that's them. six and a half. That's six and a <laughs> half. <laughs> no, and no one likes to share. I know, I know. But the USTA records show that you had... Okay, uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, so when go you go into a night like this, you got to know that you have a good chance to win a bunch, but okay. come on, seven? What were your feelings going in? Yeah, I felt really good going in. I had a bunch of uh, like early, you know, morning line favorites that I thought could win. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things like the first couple races go well and like it's just, you know, it just kind of like start rolling for you you know it's kind of like you say like when things are going bad like you can't do anything right and when things are going good like things just work out so um it was one of those kind of nights i was literally just gonna ask you is it like a baseball player hitting a grand slam you know what i mean your chest swells up and you're like i can't do anything wrong out here you know <laughs> yeah exactly you know i mean it's it helps bring a lot of confidence and when you're confident and feeling good about yourself and the horses that you're driving like 
you know, usually positive things happen. So it must be like what it feels to be like Dex. I don't know. He, just, <laughs> he wins everything everywhere. Well, you know what? I was going to apologize for not using a hockey term. That would be, what's what's more than a hat trick? Hat trick is three goals. What's four goals? Is there a term for that? No. <laughs> that's just you're kicking some serious butt out there. We have to think of one. Yeah, it's hard to score more than three goals. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, have a great night again, Corey. Thanks for being on the show. All right. Thank you. <laughs> And we've got a special post-time update for you to go along with this story. On the evening that I did these interviews, Speedaway picked up another victory. They're at the top of the stretch, and uh, not for money, it's kind of a gotten a short lead, not for money. Here comes Swan Flyer, far outside, Speedaway coming faster. They come toward the wire, Speedaway on the far outside, it's Speedaway to get up. Yes, this time it was out of post position eight. He came from the back of the pack and scored in 156 and two and has now made over $113,000 in 2024. And Corey, well, he had another big night winning six races on that evening's card. Way to go, Corey, and congratulations to the entire Callahan clan and the connections of Speedaway.